In drawings, you can now add surface finish symbols. In the dialog, you can specify if you want a basic surface finish or if material removal is required or prohibited, and whether the finish applies all around. The six text fields around the symbol can be used for any values, like max and min roughness values and machining allowance. Pressing Tab will move your cursor to the next field. Surface finish symbols vary a lot between different standards, so here you can enter plain text to specify a production method or a waveness value, or here a sample length. The boxes have no labels, so you can enter the values that your standard requires. The pull down menu at the bottom lets you specify a direction of lay. You can then place the symbol and attach it to any model geometry. The values will stay active so you can place the same symbol on other geometry. Pressing Escape will exit the command. If the position of the text is not right, you can right click the symbol and select Flip. If you still don't like it, you can drag the second dot on the symbol to add a leader line. You can also drag the placement dot to add an extension line if you need to make your annotation clearer. Finally, you can double click the symbol or right click and select Edit to change any of the values.